The rugged Gorons lived in Goron City, a town carved into Death Mountain. They were forged in volcanic heat, their bodies as hard as stone. Daruk, a brave Goron whose power of protection could repel the mightiest of blows, was deemed the best candidate to pilot divine beast Va Rudanya. The princess and her entourage ventured to Goron City in hopes of securing Daruk's cooperation. What you'll learn about me is that I never refuse a sincere request. <laughs> so of course I'm on board with your plan. Hmm. Except there is one problem. It's just Varudania is in a difficult spot right now. The Divine Beast was found pretty high up on Death Mountain. A lot of monsters have been crawling around lately, so even getting close to old Rudania is a big pain. <sighs> Only the bravest go up there now. So that's oh. why it's a good thing it's gonna be us! Uh, oh, um, of course. Come on! Death Mountain won't climb itself. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Ooh. Seeing it again, it's even bigger than I remembered. <laughs> Let's get right to it then. I can't wait! Unexpected, but we pulled through in the end. You really proved yourself, hey little guy. <laughs> now, about me piloting Rutania. Well, go ahead and count the mighty Daruk in. Oh, thank you, Daruk. Of course, we'll smash that calamity cannon jerk to smithereens. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You must be starving after all that fighting. I know just the cure for that. <laughs> My favorite, prime rock roast. <laughs> Doesn't it look delicious? Why don't you dig in, little guy? <gasps> ah, sorry, how thoughtless of me. I should have brought some for you, tiny princess. Next time, I promise to bring enough for everyone. Uh, thank you very much. The Rito resided in a settlement on the Tabantha frontier. These feathery folk were blessed with the ability to glide along the wind, and they were adept with bow and arrow. Counted among them was Rivale, the most capable warrior of all the Rito. The natural choice to pilot divine beast Va Meadow. Zelda and her companions set out for Rito Village in hopes of securing his help. To evade foes, the party tried crossing through the snowfield, but a fierce blizzard befell them, halting their progress. Link asked Zelda to wait in safety while he and the little guardian scouted the area. This nonsense again? Hmm. 
Rito Village is my home. While I'm here, you won't be getting any closer. the situation now. I'm thankful no harm befell you. Either of you. Pardon me. Huh? But we must address the gravity of there being another guardian resembling the little one, your highness. <sighs> yes. If it is in some way connected to the calamity, we must swiftly come up with a strategy. Out with it. We both know you'll be needing my unique skills to pilot that divine beast, hmm? However... About this pathetic knight in your service, are you sure he's got what it takes? <laughs> what the...? Oh, I see. Our friend believes itself to be a knight as well, in service of the princess. <laughs> it... what? Ugh. Ridiculous. Every last one of you. The Gerudo lived in a settlement in the Gerudo Desert. Comprised entirely of women, they were a tribe of great might and nobility. For her exceptional strength and her ability to harness lightning, Urbosa, chief of the Gerudo, was the clear choice to pilot divine beast Va Naboris. Zelda knew Urbosa thanks to her close relationship with the late Queen of Hyrule. With her party in tow, Zelda traveled to Gerudo Town to speak with her old friend. However, their journey took an unexpected turn. But why? Why are the Gerudo attacking us? Rosa will surely be able to explain everything if we can reach her. your destiny, of course. <laughs> Princess Zelda. <gasps> I came back as quickly as I could. <gasps> Not exactly what I expected to find. I hope you're not hurt, little bird. <laughs> I'm not. <clears throat> uh, 
Этик, Уоррисом, Мадахалиом! Yiga symbol. Me excluded, of course. These losers defeat me! Get these cowards. It's time to retreat. I think not. <laughs> Thank you for meeting me here. The town is a bit, uh... <laughs> Chaotic, shall we say? Of course, Abusa. We'd meet you anywhere. You know about the Yiga clan, I trust. Sheikah traitors working in the shadows to revive Calamity Ganon. <sighs> Those lowlifes have been wreaking havoc here in Gerudo Canyon. How long can we stand by and watch them get away with it? No longer, I say. I will pilot this divine beast. You are precious to me, and you need my help. I cannot refuse. Uh, thank you, Obosa. As Princess of Hyrule, I too will carry out my sworn duty. Little bird. <sighs> However I am able to support you, I will. Just say the word. It seems that, as low as my expectations of you were, I was overly optimistic. What? Well, no matter. My harbinger, show me the future. With that, the four Divine Beasts were assembled with their pilots. 
Training began in earnest, and the plan to defeat Hyrule's enemies began to coalesce. Zelda continued her work, calibrating the divine beasts and researching ancient relics. Much to her frustration, however, her sealing power remained dormant. His Majesty did not offer even a single word of praise. Well, it's only natural that Father would be frustrated. But, Your Highness... Right now, we must do whatever is in our power. Please inform Mifa and Daruk that we depart tomorrow morning. Then you plan to go to the Divine Beasts? Understood. that the reason my ability hasn't awakened is because I haven't worked hard enough. I imagine that when I visit the Divine Beasts, he'll say as much. Adjustments to the Divine Beasts are not yet complete. We must fine-tune them for the individual pilots to ensure that they will be as effective as possible. So many of their parts are complex. We don't have to understand them. Daruk, I have a request. Might I join you for training next time? I would like to be fully prepared. Learning new ways to fight foes might do me some good. Of course! The more the merrier! <sighs> Thing is, we still need a night gritty enough to see all the darkness, and they're nowhere to be found. Um, yes. Although, hey, if you see anybody that... Uh huh? Your Highness, I bring news. It regards your impending death. Destiny is at work, then. The future is fickle. Yeager clan, time to go. <laughs> the king issued his first order to the divine beast pilots. 
seek out the knight who could wield the sword that seals the darkness. This would require that they vanquish the monsters in Korok Forest, where the legendary blade slept. All four of the pilots were to take part. Zelda, seeking data to help calibrate the Divine Beasts, accompanied them. As did Link, for he always stayed by the princess's side. Hyrule's king chose us to perform this pivotal task. It will be my honor to excel, as always. Then there's you. The one part that doesn't add up. Why should this nobody be trusted to lead us in the coming battle? Hmm. It doesn't matter who's the leader. We're all in this together, right? You are, of course, mistaken. My divine beast is the key. <laughs> really, now, it makes no sense. Well, my one comfort is that your reputation will be completely ruined once you fail. The Fallen Knight. <laughs> Ravali, how long do you expect us to put up with your prattle, huh? I've said enough. The time has come to show you what I'm made of. Now witness Va Meadow's divine power. Progress, we could just be going in circles. Good point. If only someone could fly above and scout the way. As though I could see anything through this muck. Honestly, do you ever think before you speak? Getting lost is the least of our worries. If something attacked us, we wouldn't see it coming. Yes, we must be prepared for even the most unusual. <laughs> probably sneak right by if you didn't have those noisy maracas. Oh, never mind him. We have business in the forest. If you lead the way, we can handle the monsters for you.
What? Deco tree. Uh. All is well. The sword you hold is the key to defeating the calamity, to sealing the darkness. Young hero, you have been chosen by the sword to wield its power and vanquish the Calamity. And you, Princess, huh? do not lose hope. The pass will open for you soon. I see. Forgive me. A deep slumber beckons, and even I cannot refuse. You have all that is needed to face whatever destiny awaits. Hyrule's fate is in your hands.